you for coming to this uh, memorial event tonight. Uh, I would my name is Shinsuke, and I would like to share with you a little story that Ko told us before. Uh, as she said, uh, he went to Japan last early, uh, last early March last year, just before the earthquake. And at that point, she remembered that uh, the whole nation was discussing about this small cheating which occurred in the entrance exam at the Kyoto University. And uh, the every day, all the TVs, magazines, and papers, even the, you know, the uh, internet site was discussing about who is the student, uh, and uh, how did he did do that, and uh, even who was his mother, or something like that. Everybody was going crazy, and uh, it was unbelievable. And she said that uh, it almost, uh, you know, like the whole nation was Losing its mind, I agree. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, this uh, you know the event, uh, the tragic, uh, historical mm -hmm. tragic occurred on March 11th. At that point, she was in Tokyo. Fortunately, there was not much uh, physical damage in metro to metropolitan Tokyo area. However, there was no mm -hmm. transportation, no trains, no subways, no buses. Roads are packed, and uh, even worse, there was no communication. No telephone, no uh, cell phone services. Everybody was t panicked. Uh, what happened on that Friday night was uh, millions of people from work tried to get home on foot. They had to walk 10 to 20 miles without any food in the cold night. Then all of a sudden, uh, this uh, um, almost amazing thing happens. She witnessed that all, uh, lots of stores and shops around the major street, around, around the street, uh, voluntarily uh, offered water, oh. restrooms, and even internet accesses to the people who were struggling to go home. Mm -hmm. And it happened everywhere in metropolitan Tokyo area at the same time. It was amazing. I believe that at that point, I believe that uh, Japanese people began to remember the importance of their ties with other people. That was exactly what happened to my family. Uh, my wife was uh, three miles away from my home at that point. And uh, it took five hours for her to go home. And she tried very hard only to find out that uh, her 80 years old mother-in-law was uh, okay at home alone. I really appreciate what she did for my mother. I believe uh, that lots of people get very scared because they could not contact with their family. I believe the millions of people try to get home, not to get blessed at home, but to get contact with their family. Uh, in 2004, there was another earthquake in uh, Niigata Prefecture, 68 were dead, uh, almost 5,000 were injured, and lots of people lost their properties, homes, and businesses. Uh, this song called Jupiter became so popular among the people who suffered in Niigata Prefecture. Let me introduce a little bit of it. Every day, I listen to my heart. We are not alone. We are all connected at the bottom of our heart. I will listen to the total calm of my heart. If I hear your call, I will go wherever you are. I think this song touches the people who suffered in Niigata because they realized that the ties with their families, community, and people from all around, around the world give them the strength and courage for the future. And I think they know that they can find the ties at the bottom of their heart if they listen calmly. So let's try the same thing together tonight. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.